So here's the current stance on our club car precedent. We have about eight inches of clearance down here on the deck. And I'm gonna be putting on a six inch lift, lift kit from GTW. Uh, it's designed for this particular cart. I'm gonna do it kind of quickly, but I'm gonna go through some of the steps and if I have any issues, I'll uh, let you guys know about it. So I have the cart up on jack stands. Uh, toe point, or the left point, if you guys aren't familiar with it, is this plate right here for the jack and then the jack stands. You go anywhere on that aluminum frame rail. Uh, I got the toe switch on uh, as opposed to the run switch behind the seat. I'm already in the uh, toe position down in here and I do have the back wheel chalked just to make sure that the cart won't roll away. Uh, the parking brake is also set to something else to, to keep in mind. This is the instructions for the lift kit we're going to be installing. There's the part number, it's 18140, the GTW 6 inch A-arm lift kit. I'm also going to be installing the heavy duty leaf springs for the rear to beef up the rear suspension. So we're under the front of the cart. We're going to have to remove this front light and bumper here from the cart. It's going to be this nut here and there's a bolt right up here on top that we're going to have to get to. The bolts are going to be a 13 millimeter for the bottom and a, and a 10 millimeter for the top. Front bumper is removed. Uh, next thing we got to do is remove all the wheels uh, here in the front and then take the hubs off. So these lug nuts on most of these club bars are going to be three quarter inch. So getting the wheels off, these are the current wheels that are on it. They're a uh, 10 inch wheel. Uh, they're 205 50s. And most of these 10 inches you don't need a lift kit for. Um, in my case, it, it is good in the front, but in the rear, the rear tires, uh, they do rub a little bit, and that's mainly due to that uh, need a heavy duty leaf spring installed, uh, which I'll put in later. Okay, so next we got to remove the the bolt here for the, the shocks. Uh, that should be half inch. We'll get that out on both sides and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so next you're gonna be removing the, the tie rods here. Uh, we do have to get a wrench on there. It should be 11 16 and then a 18 millimeter for this, this nut down here. There should be a cotter pin in here. Um, this cart does not have a cotter pin. Uh, we'll make sure that we get one in there when we're complete and we'll get a new cotter pan and stick it you guys can see the hole there okay so tie rods are both removed uh, they were able to just pull right out if you can't get them out you can always stick the nut back on the end of the tie rod end on the threaded end as it's through here and then and then hit it with a hammer uh, to loosen up and then should pull out so both sides both sides are removed. Uh, now we got to remove the spindles, which would be half inch there and there. Same thing on this side, half inch there and there. We can remove this uh, old spindle. Okay, so next we, next we have to remove this plate, uh, these bolts right here. This should also be half inch, and then that'll remove this whole this whole plate and the leaf springs that come out the side. Uh, we'll get down there and take a look at that. So we are going to have to reuse this plate. Uh, okay, so now we got three bolts here. One, two, three. Those are half inch. We're going to remove those only just so we can get access uh, to the the A-arms to get those off. As you can see right now, they're 
the, the bolts and all that are behind here and they're hidden. Okay, so on that last step we are gonna have to save those half inch bolts that came out. Uh, but now we can lift this up out of the way and get access to those another half inch bolts to get rid of this A-arm, uh, get that out of our way. So we're completely stripped down. It took me maybe about 30 minutes to do that with recording. So good idea. Any of the parts and the instructions are some parts that you're gonna be reusing and there's some that you're gonna be discarding. What I did is I, I like to save all my old bolts if they're decent hardware to use for other projects. Uh, but definitely the things that I'm gonna save for, uh, and reuse in this project, I go ahead and, and bag them, uh, Ziploc bags and label everything uh, just so if it, you know you don't get to this thing for another week or two for some reason uh, you can go back later and not have to rack your brain to figure out what fits where the front bumper I just put a lot of those back in place um, these ones here for the uh, tie rods go back in there and everything so anyway we'll move on uh, next I'll show you the, the actual kit that we're going to be installing uh, but this is going to be the front end complete teardown Here's the box with the GTW six inch A-arm lift kit for the club car precedent. Uh, you got the main suspension assembly. You got a couple of your spindles in here, uh, two A-arms and some lift blocks, U-bolts, and then the rear shock uh, mounting plates. Uh, but here's the, here's the main assembly. Here's those lift plates, uh, the rear blocks, the e bolts. Here's the new spindles that are in here. And then, the, uh, of course, the A arms, uh, which we're going to be installing uh, coming up here in a, one of the next steps. I'm going to be taking the long. Arm bolt from one of the previous steps are going to be installed. You can see this driver side A arm is, is now installed. Okay, so the next step is just going to be installing the three bolts for the rack and pinion, uh, which I put in a bag to make it easier to find because uh, it's the next night. Okay, so we got the rack and pinion back in place. We got both upper A arms back in. Uh, one thing to note with the, the A arms is there is grease points on there, uh, grease jerk. You got to make sure you get some grease in there because it's a lot harder to do now once it's installed. So I did that before I actually installed them on the cart. Okay, so next we're going to be installing the main suspension assembly, the whole unit. Uh, we're going to use bolts that are supplied with the kit. They're going to come back up and attach to the, the plate that we removed earlier right there. Okay, so putting this assembly on, I had to use a, a jack and kind of position it in different areas and uh, held the bolts in my hand, got the right angle and was able to get one of these bolts started. And then once I got one of them started, I dropped the jackets out of the way. And then I went ahead and uh, ran the other ones in just a little bit like I've done here and now what I'm doing because this step requires Loctite I'm going ahead and I'm pulling all the, the bolts out individually 
Um, so I just pulled this last one out here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my Loctite on them uh, and then reinstall them one by one. A little easier than trying to put Loctite on them than trying to hold this thing in and put, get your bolt started. So I'm just gonna go around and have this, this one last bolt here. Put Loctite on. So now that I got all these other ones, it's kind of holding things and everything in place, I'll go ahead and remove this last one. And also in this step, there is the grease fittings on here. I went ahead and uh, greased those up also, just like the A arms, the upper A arms, because uh, they need to be greased. And obviously, a lot easier to do when they're off the card than they are on the card. So now let's go around and tighten all the rest of these up and, and this step will be complete. Okay, so here's where we're at now. We have the main assembly on with these lower A-arms, upper A-arms. Uh, next, we're gonna be attaching the spindles. Okay, so we're attaching the spindles. We're gonna take the uh, Allen bolts that are in here and take those out. Install the shock. We got a bolts, smaller washers. This is the completed install until I set it on the ground. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the jack underneath and put the wheels back on, tires, and, and see how it looks. So here's the updated look. I'll have to pull it out uh, once I get the back done. Get a little more room, but you can see that left a lot of clearance. I'm gonna get some bigger wheels and tires, uh, probably the 23 inch all terrains. All right, so we're going to be moving to the rear suspension and it's on the lift back here. Currently, I have the jack in place under that rear axle. Uh, we're going to be installing the heavy duty leaf springs as well while, we'll do, while we're doing this. Uh, I do have the jack stands in place. And I do have the front wheels chalked both in the front and the back just so the car won't, won't move. Uh, I did take off the parking brake so we can move things around back here. And um, as far as the heavy duty leaf springs, here's the heavy duty leaf springs right here. They come with uh, their own bushings that we'll be installing. And they come with their own U-bolts, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be installing those ones or the ones with the lift kit. Uh, it depends on the size. I'll have to take a look at that. Okay, so I got the wheels off. Uh, now we're going to be removing the U-bolts with the nuts here. They're 5 8 Okay, we're actually not going to remove completely remove this U-bolt. We're just going to loosen this side up on the passenger side here. 
Remember we got the jack underneath the axle so the motor doesn't roll forward on us. Okay, so we've just loosened that up. We haven't actually taken it completely off. Okay, now we moved over to the driver's side. We've got the U-bolt here. We're gonna completely remove the U-bolt on this side. Remember, still have the jack in place here. Okay, next we're gonna be able to start removing this leaf spring on this side, get this out. Okay, don't forget, I almost forgot here to, I gotta remove the shock. Obviously that's holding up this leaf spring also. This is a 13 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. 13 millimeter on the nut back here and then 10 millimeter on this uh, outside bolt. Okay, so for this front leaf spring, uh, the nut back here, the brake cable is in the way. Uh, when we removed it back here, there's a there's a clip on here that holds that on place. But basically, I had to use the open end of the wrench, get it up on the bolt. see the clip here I was talking about that was holding it on so now the leaf spring should come out and I'll just keep an eye on the uh, jack back here make sure the axles not dropping you guys can notice the difference between the leaf springs here's the heavy-duty leaf spring here uh, it's got four different springs on it as opposed to just one on this this spring here so also something to note with this step when we took this one off if you notice where the plate was uh, the shorter side goes towards the rear and you can see I'm just took this one off exactly how it was up and installed and and then here it is now on, on the floor so get these up here we'll get them in place uh, get everything lined up but first I got to put the bushings in so I'm gonna be installing the uh new bushings. What I like to do with bushings like this is just take a little bit of wheel bearing grease, this is the mobile one, and just kind of give me something in, inside. Not only to help everything get in place, but to keep it from squeaking later on. just a little bit in there I'll push this through now I'll get the rubber bushing for the other side I'll do the same thing just kind of coat coat the inside of it here push it into place and what I'll do here is just take a rubber mallet Get it, get it uh, pushed into place. And once I get all uh, four bushings in, we'll, we'll, these will be ready to go. Okay, so now we're just gonna lower the axle and I'm gonna get the leaf spring in place. Um, I lower it down enough to where it's, uh, it can fit on top.
Okay, so what I have to do here is basically just try to get these holes in. So I have everything just about in place. bracket will actually move into place where we need it. Okay, so I got to do a couple more uh, steps here. I'm going to be installing the riser blocks and the plate that goes on top here. Uh, something to, to take a look at is, remember how we lined up the, the bolt before? Uh, that'll make it sit. So the riser blocks will line up with that, with that hole. Um, also, there are two different sizes of the riser blocks. The bigger and the smaller one. You know, if you look at the, the different leaf springs, use the smaller one for the heavy duty because you see the, the size difference. Uh, that smaller leaf spring will help, help fix the, uh, the distance. And as uh, far as the U-bolts go, I am going to be using the U bolts that come with the lift kit just because they're a lot longer than uh, the stock ones or the ones that come with that heavy duty leaf spring. Alright, so in this step, the, the motor is wanting to, to roll forward. Uh, so, what I kind of have to do here is I got the got to drop down enough to get the U-bolt through. And from here, kind of had it to move the, the engine, or I'm sorry, the motor around a little bit to get it to, to go where it needs to go. So right about there, I'm in the I'm lined up with the hole that I need to be lined up with. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and try to jack up this uh, plate a little bit to get it to get it to finish lining up. See that's, that's pretty well lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and get these these bolts started down here uh, to get kind of get this snugged up a little bit, and I can work on the other side. Go ahead and get the shock put back onto this plate. I'm just gonna loosely get that installed for right now, and I'll tighten it up. All right, so they also. Supply these uh, Allen head bolts. They're six millimeter. They go on this on the brake plates here, and they have uh, the washers and a, and a lock nut that goes on the bottom. Uh, that's just to line this up with the hole that's inside here. So when you put this on, it's not out of out of alignment. Um, I don't know if it's even necessary, but I'm gonna put it on there. Okay, so now that we're back here, I got everything lined up pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and start snugging up this. U bolt. Here's our final stance on the rear. Got everything all all set up. We're at 12 and three quarters now. 
on the deck height here. So I've gained quite a bit. Uh, there is one last step of doing the alignment. I'll do that in a separate video. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe if this helped you out at all. And uh, as soon as I can get the alignment video up, I'll do that as well. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great day.